So with this 200 series system, the 200 indicates that you have a remote screen and a main dash screen that's 200 for two screens. The 100 is a single 100R meaning remote screen or 100 without the R is your main dash screen. So the 100R can also be set up very similar to the 200 system. Uh, in this case we have up to 35 digital inputs and outputs. They can be mixed in various configurations. If you'd like 10 inputs and 25 digital outputs or 25 inputs and 10 digital outputs, anything's possible that way. There are 12 analog inputs and 12 uh, inputs as well, also with modulation. This also has an option for a backup camera. You can also set it up for multiple cameras. Front parking, left and right turn signals. You can have it set up on the side view mirror for clearance on either side of the car. Right now we're looking at some carbon fiber. You can see the backup guides overlaid on top. Also have this set up for the car to remain. Oops, sorry. The car to remain on all the time. If you like looking at your car, any image can go there. Custom graphic. You can see that the uh, hood opens, driver door, passenger door, and hatch. So that's pretty cool. You can have that come on only when one of the doors are open. Cycle it on the gauges. You can have additional gauges from your main dash screen, or you can move the dash screen gauges onto here if you want to clean up the dash a little bit. Just have the important stuff and move all the auxiliary gauges to the, uh, the console. That's an option as well. And uh, you can also have menu set up here. I'll be moving my windshield wiper and fog lamp, radio, all media here media player and that sort of thing to this screen and get rid of the stocks on the, on the steering column. Well, now we'll have a look at the control page. This is great for troubleshooting. You can handle several relay outputs, 12 digital, 5 volt or 12 volt triggered devices. You can use set points for let's say rad fans. I have mine to turn on and off at various temperatures here. You don't need any third-party software to do that. It's all controlled by a config file which is found sorry, right here. And you can use a wireless keyboard to scroll through it. Back here we'll turn on the fuel pump. And how about water pump? can barely hear that one. And just a little more info on this page. Screen mode refers to the main dash screen. You can change from race, cruise, which for normal driving, and sport for spirited driving. I'll show you that in a separate video. And uh, as well, you can turn off your date and time if you want to clean up the screen. Some people just want to see basic or essential information so you can cycle that on and off. Trip, A, B, and off. Okay, and you can reset it from here. This will, will show the trip information here if you'd like as well as the main dash screen. Demo mode is what I'm using right now so I can access some of these features without starting the car or doing any damage, uh, this is like a safe mode. So when you're doing this sort of thing, uh, demo mode is great to have on. Then I can open it again and just read off some here. We have uh, speed units, miles per hour, kilometers, red line setting, shift set. Red line is 
is not a rev limiter, it's just an on-screen red line to, to match your engine settings. You can change colors. We have fan on and off temperatures and uh, outside air temperature if you have that option. Calibrated. Fuel range. You have voltmeter information, oil pressure if, if equipped, data log time in milliseconds, and a bunch of other stuff here. Tachometer, cal. This uh, this can input from carbureted engine. You can take signal off your coil. You can take a signal off the computer. And we can also develop custom interfaces for fuel injectors or that sort of thing, wherever you need to take a pulse from. Then we have navigation. This is a uh, standard feature on the 200 and 100R series. 100R means one screen, 100 for one screen. The R meaning remote, so 100R is your single remote screen. The 200 means you have two screens, dash, and uh, your remote screen combined. And there's the map settings. Single touch, very easy to uh, to use. And this is the climate control page. It's currently set up to work with Vintage Air Magnum 4 series systems. Also works with Infinity and GM climate control and working with a customer to do a resto mod air unit. That'll be very near future. So with this, instead of using the hardware knobs, you simply hit a power button and you can see now fan speed goes to one automatically you have your diverter to the head position and temperature is 20 that's Celsius of course this is uh, Canada and Toronto area we're 19 degrees in the cabin five speeds for temperature you can hear the fan getting louder Single touch for head to foot mix, down to the foot, split to windshield, windshield only, and then back to head. If you want defrost for the windshield, you touch up here, and then the AC comes on automatically. It also sets up with a internal cabin temperature sensor. Right now it's 19 degrees, as I said. And if we want to adjust the temperature up to 22, we push up on the temperature and then hit auto. Set point now is 22 degrees. So the computer will automatically regulate the cabin temperature at 22 degrees using fan and temperature. And to shut everything off, just hit the power button. Very fast acting tachometer, there's no lag. Signal is taken directly off the PCM signal wire. It can also be taken from the port if you have a fast enough protocol from ODB2 like CAN bus. Normally fast enough to get a, a very quick acting tack. For carbureted engines, it can also be taken from the coil.